How come it is openly acceptable to bounce out of the hole on squat, touch and go reps on bench, use a leg drive on bench, lean back in the overhead press slightly so the bar can pass your face, but it's not acceptable when people use a little bit of body English, some people use a lot, in order to accomplish rows. Why? I've never understood. There is some rows where you should be getting some form of contraction. I will agree there. If you can't hold the weight for even a split second, it's probably a bit too heavy, and a majority of your rows should not look like that. However, overloading your body with heavy rows can be a great, great tool in order to stimulate new growth. For anyone that doesn't know, there is a power lifter named Matt Krzygalewski, I don't know how to say his last name, and he would do these heavy ass dumbbell rows that were definitely not textbook form. In fact, they were probably sloppy. And he said nothing made his deadlift go up more than doing these heavy one arm high rep, high weight rows. This is a great upper back exercise, not more so much for the lats, but it's great for the upper back. And he also did it to enhance his grip strength. He basically did the rows until he couldn't hold on to the deadlift anymore. And it built up a whole bunch of stuff. But what I'm saying, your rows shouldn't always be sloppy and power looking, but they shouldn't always be slow and controlled either. Remember, if it's openly acceptable to bounce out of a squat and use leg drive on a bench press, then why isn't it acceptable to use a little bit of body English to power through some rows? Think about it.